sponsored by OpSpot. Your MacBook is a great tool, but if you're still using it straight out of the box, you are missing out on what it can really do. Today, I've got five accessories that help me completely rethink how I use my MacBook. Supporting the way I work, how I show up on video calls, and how I stay focused throughout the day, which is important, especially if you're using your MacBook for work. Now, whether you're trying to fix your posture, look more professional on Zoom, or just remove a few mental speed bumps, this is how you turn your MacBook from a laptop into a setup that's gonna work as hard as you do. Let's get started. Now, first, it's gonna be the foundation because if you don't have a proper desk setup, everything else is just gonna fall apart. The first accessory is so genius, it cleanly solves the I don't have a desk problem, which some of you might resonate with. This is the Casa pop-up desk from Logitech and it turns any flat surface into a functional ergonomic setup. You get a full-size keyboard, a responsive trackpad, and a tilt stand all packed into something that closes like a hardcover book. No, seriously, it does. I've used it on kitchen tables, in hotels, even on the floor during layovers. The transformation here is simple. You're gonna stop feeling like you're working wherever you can and start feeling like you have a system, even if that system is small enough to fold up and put into your bag or backpack. Now, this completely changes the game for me because whenever I travel working from cafes, or maybe I just don't wanna be chained to my desk during the day, like I imagine that's how some of you feel, it really helps you stay productive wherever you are without sacrificing posture or comfort. Now, if you look closely here, you might've already spotted something else that helps me stay productive on my Mac, but we're gonna come back to that later on. Next, lighting is one of the most overlooked parts of the setup. I used to rely on overhead lighting, you know, the big light, which no one likes turning on, or even worse, having no lighting, working in complete dark, and it made everything from video calls to late night focus sessions feel just cringy and off. Now, that is where this next product comes in. This is the BenQ Screen Bar Pro, and it completely changed that. This is designed to work with an external monitor by clipping directly to it, and it casts zero glare on your screen and creates an area of focus light that actually helps you stay in the zone, which is really important. And your eyes, well, let's just say they're not gonna hate you for it. Now, there's a built-in ambient light sensor, which means that as soon as you walk in front of your monitor, it's automatically gonna turn on, and it's gonna adjust the brightness throughout the day, depending on, obviously, the ambient light that's coming in the room. And really, for me, this is the one accessory that made my setup more enjoyable, more intentional, more focused. And honestly, it's probably one of the things that you don't think that you need until you actually get it and you're like, oh wow, this really does make a difference. I would absolutely suggest checking it out. Now, if you wanna be illuminated with ideas on how to set up your, you know, your Mac setup, check out my ultimate Apple fan desk tour. It's gonna be linked at the end of the video. Now let's talk video calls because if you're still using your MacBook's built-in webcam, <laughs> you already know the pain that I am talking about. This is the Obsbot Tiny 2 Lite, and it fixes all of that because it's more than just a webcam. It's an AI-powered 4K camera with a massive half-inch built-in sensor. Now, right off the bat, that means that your image quality is gonna take a huge leap forward from what you have today. Now, the real magic is just about how it moves. Thanks to the 2-axis gimbal and some seriously smart AI, the camera tracks your face, your body, it automatically zooms to keep you perfectly framed, even if you're standing still, sitting or shifting around mid call. Now you can change tracking modes like upper body, close up, or even if you say with your hands, and that's all done using hand gestures in front of the camera. And for me, the difference was really simple. I just stopped dreading getting on video calls. I, I might maybe still dread getting on video calls, but this really lessened that a lot. It made me feel more confident in how I present when I show up on video, and really that's what matters. Now you can find out more by visiting the first link in the video description. And I wanna thank a big thank you to Obsbot for sponsoring today's video. And if you're into tools that make you show up better and work smarter, hit that subscribe button down below so you can get notified when I publish new Mac content, which is every week. Now, at some point you're gonna get tired of plugging and unplugging a dozen things every time that you sit down to your desk. It is so frustrating. For me, that's when the dock went from a really nice to have to a non-negotiable for my setup. The Caltigit Thunderbolt 4 dock changed my workflow completely. Now one cable connects my MacBook to everything that I have on my desk, my monitor, my external drives, my audio interfaces, and it's gonna power it instantly. It turns any MacBook into a full workstation and honestly made sitting down to work just feel effortless. It has 18 ports, including three Thunderbolt 4 ports and a 2.5 gigabit ethernet. So you're covered now and when your setup changes. And this is the kind of accessory that removes friction from your day, and that's really the big upgrade itself. Anytime that you can remove friction from doing an item or a task, it's gonna be a win-win. And in case it's not clear, everything I talk about will be linked down in the video description. 
But if you're creative or you're someone maybe who's running the latest Macs with the M4 Pro, the M4 Max chipset, and you want more headroom, that is where the OWC Thunderbolt 5 hub comes into play. It's future ready and it's got more bandwidth, faster throughput, and supports multiple high resolution displays and faster external storage all at once. Now for power users, editors, maybe anyone pushing their Mac to the limit, this is the dock that makes up the rest of your setup keep up. Now, whether you're working on one display or maybe even three, transferring massive files, or you just want a workspace that feels seamless, a good dock will transform your setup from functional to frictionless. Now, remember that little sticker I teased earlier on? Well, this next one, it's personal. I designed this macOS shortcut sticker because I kept forgetting which keys to use. This has got a ton of great shortcuts. You got Safari shortcuts, screenshot, screenshot shortcuts. That's a mouthful. Try and say that one five times fast. Everything like say, if you were in Safari and you want to go right to the URL bar, hit Command L and it'll take you right there. This sits right below my keyboard. So it's always there when you need it without getting in the way. It's minimal. It's matte. And if I do say so myself, it'd be very useful. Now over time, it just becomes muscle memory. You stop hunting for the buttons, Googling shortcuts, and you just start moving faster. It's the smallest upgrade in this video, but it might just be the one that you use the most. Now, if you want one, it's linked below, just like everything else I talked about today. And that is the list. Five accessories that help me turn my MacBook from a portable laptop into a real workspace that supports how I think, how I work, and how I show up. Now, some of these upgrades are small. Some of them are just total game changers, but when you combine them together, that is where you get the real difference. Now, I wanna hear from you. What is the one thing that you didn't expect to see in this video, but you, now you kinda low-key want it in your setup? Let me know what that is down in the comments below. And if you are building your Apple dream setup or you just wanna get the most out of your MacBook, hit that subscribe button. I've got more gear, tips, and setup guides dropping every single week. My name is Mike, and I'm out of here.